Congratulations. I want to welcome you to the Navy family. As a member of the Delayed Entry Program, you may be from Anchorage, Alaska, or Austin, Texas. You may be about to graduate from high school, or you may be in your second or third year of college. Sailors come from all walks of life and diverse backgrounds. Our diversity is one of the Navy's greatest strengths. This training will educate you, our future sailors, about the professional culture and values of the Navy and the inappropriate behaviors of fraternization, sexual harassment, and sexual assault. Unfortunately, inappropriate behaviors exist not only in society, but in the Navy as well. The Navy is leading the charge in eliminating these offenses from our ranks. You are now part of the solution and one of our first lines of defense. As a sailor in the Navy, you will become a part of an elite group of professionals where everyone is treated with dignity and respect. You are expected to behave and conform to all the Navy's values as you transition from your present civilian life to one of service. Even now, you are part of something bigger and must live to a higher standard that is of honor, courage, and commitment. Throughout this training, you will see and hear examples of behaviors that are unacceptable in the Navy. You may have seen some of these behaviors in high school, college, earlier in your life, or maybe even in your civilian job. However, it's important that you understand that in the Navy, there are things that are not tolerated that may be completely acceptable in society. Behaviors that in society would not be considered civilian offenses could in fact result in military disciplinary action. As a civilian, it might have been okay for you to show up late for work, or quit your job, or even call your boss by their first name. But in the Navy, we don't do that. In the Navy, if you don't show up for work, or if you quit your job, you get in trouble. If you call your division officer by their first name, you're being disrespectful. Actions in the Navy have different consequences than they may have had in the world you just came from. As part of the Navy family, you are now expected to act in accordance with our Navy values, treating everyone with dignity and respect. This training will introduce you to the Navy's high standards of behavior and emphasize the role of the Navy's core values and our stand against fraternization, sexual harassment, and sexual assault. Relationships between ranks must be professional at all times, and this includes the relationship between the recruiter and you, the future sailor. Any type of dating or private or unofficial social relationship with your recruiter is inappropriate. In the Navy, this is an example of fraternization, and fraternization is not acceptable in the professional Navy environment. Trust is essential in our line of work. We need to trust that our shipmates will help us protect us, and keep us out of harm's way. We must be able to trust one another, and that includes trusting that our fellow sailors will have our back and keep us safe. With trust comes courage, the courage to come forward and speak up if you see something that's inappropriate or wrong. There is a range of behaviors that can undermine a professional working environment. It's called the continuum of harm. If left unaddressed, these behaviors can foster an environment where an offender can feel free to push the boundaries to commit a more serious act. We are now going to watch a video that will highlight some of the inappropriate actions on the left side of the continuum. This video also showcases two individuals coming forward, speaking up, and doing what's right, showing courage. Dang, man, look at that girl. She's going to town. You see it? Yeah, man, she's going ham. <laughs> she's getting it, man. She's getting it. What's up, Jonesy? Man, look at that girl. You see it? Yeah, man, that's crazy. Look at her. Hey, Jonesy, come over here and take a look at this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come take a look at this video. I bet you can't do what this girl's doing to these guys. You two are disgusting. You shouldn't even be looking at that here. Petty Officer Green will be here any second. So put it up, because we have a lot more important stuff to do today. Everyone's been talking about you, and we like what we see, but we want to make sure that you have what it really takes to be in the Navy. I mean, like, yeah, you got it going on and everything. But we just want to see if you can prove with us that you really have what it takes. So why don't you come over here and see what we got. Hey! 
Future Shadow Smith, Future Shadow Gray. What do you guys think you're doing? In my office, now. In this video, we saw inappropriate behavior. We saw courage when future Sailor Jones stepped up and told the guys that their behavior was inappropriate. And we saw leadership when Petty Officer Green called them back to his office to reprimand them for their unprofessional and inappropriate behavior. The actions of the future sailors were examples of sexual harassment. In addition to comments about clothing, personal behavior, or a person's body, sexual or sex-based jokes, and telling rumors about someone's personal or sexual life are all also examples of unacceptable behavior that the Navy calls sexual harassment. This locker room behavior is unsat. Derogatory gestures or facial expressions of a sexual nature, showing pictures or emails of a sexual nature, they're all examples of sexual harassment. This video also shows two great examples of individuals stepping up and stopping inappropriate behavior. Future Sailor Jones and Petting Officer Green both showed courage when they stepped forward and expressed their disgust with the behavior of the two male future sailors. This bystander intervention is behavior that we want to foster. We want individuals like you to feel empowered to come forward and say something if you see something that's wrong. Stand up for what's right. Commit to the Navy's values of respect for your shipmates. On the right side of the continuum of harm, we see inappropriate behaviors that become more serious in nature. They involve sexual contact, forcible sodomy, sexual assault, and rape. These offenses are characterized by the use of force, threats, intimidation, or abuse of authority when a victim does not or cannot consent. The difference between a sexual encounter and sexual assault is the issue of consent. Without clear consent, a sexual encounter can be a sexual assault. Consent means words or overt acts by a competent person indicating a freely given agreement to the sexual conduct at issue. Use of fear, force, or coercion does not mean you have consent, and a sleeping or incompetent person cannot give consent. Most victims of sexual assault know their offenders, and many interactions that lead to a sexual assault often begin in a social setting and many times involve the consumption of alcohol. Alcohol can impair an individual's judgment and blur the lines of whether an individual was able to consent. Alcohol can contribute to bad decision-making and inappropriate behavior. Alcohol use may undermine the professional relationship that we expect you to have with your peers and your recruiter. If you are old enough to legally consume alcohol, it's important to always drink responsibly. And if you're under 21, don't drink at all. Sexual assault exists both in society and, unfortunately, in the Navy. It can happen to anyone, male or female, officer or enlisted. The Navy is committed to eliminating sexual assault within our ranks and maintaining our high standards. If you believe that you have been the victim of the behavior described in this training at any time, you can contact the DOD Safe Helpline by phone or over the web. Trained staff members will confidentially direct you to resources in your local area. All of these behaviors that you have seen are unacceptable in our elite group of professionals and are not tolerated in our Navy. As part of the Navy family, you are expected to abide by the standards and values that the Navy holds dear, honor, courage, and commitment. We must have the honor to do the right thing, the courage to step forward, and the commitment to ourselves, each other, our nation, and our shared values. You have signed paperwork enlisting you into the Navy. This action brings new responsibilities. As a future sailor, you are expected to report any relationships other than professional. With any recruiter, regardless of service branch, we expect you to report any harassment or assault that you observe or are aware of, even if you are not sure of exactly what happened. And so you know, no one else has the power to hold up your departure to RTC or influence your incoming rank or your ability to earn rank. Speaking up to right a wrong takes courage, 
but you are empowered as our first line of defense. Fraternization, sexual harassment, and sexual assault. Not on my watch, not in my Navy.